Hey, what's up, y'all? So another video, another introduction. I am not in Oklahoma anymore. Well, of course, I think most of the videos I've done have not been in Oklahoma. I just left home this morning, and I am now south of Gillette, Wyoming. You can tell by the background, I am in some beautiful country. I am where I love to be, which is out west. So specifically, I am at the Sweet Grass... Um, <laughs> Sweetgrass Something Basin. And I'm going to have to redo this part because I can't remember the name of where I am. So, a um, little backstory. As you know, we do a program called From Field to Table. But we also um, are attendees at different trade shows where we put our booths up for our long-range shooting schools and for our From Field to Table events. And earlier this year in January at the Dallas Safari Club, we had um, a husband and wife approach us that own where we are right now, and they do pheasant hunts, high-end pheasant hunts. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. And they wanted to do a field to table, but with elk, because they have um, uh, free-ranging elk here in the place. It's about 6,000 acres of private, and then there is some public as well. So Mac and I have arrived two days early, and getting things set for our clients. Our chef shows up in, I believe, three days, and we're going to go hunt elk. We're going to shoot some guns, and we're going to do some butchering and processing, but I'm going to take you on a tour of what this adventure is like and just show you a little bit more about what I'm about. See you guys. Okay. Hey, good morning. So I'm gonna give you guys just a quick update. Uh, I've been here for three days now. Guests just got here yesterday and uh, we had to go out yesterday evening. I went with um, some repeat clients of mine, uh, Doug and Jenny, which are from Michigan. They've never been out West before. So this is a new experience for them, especially for Jenny. And uh, we went and checked out uh, some of the property looking for cow elk. We didn't see anything. We saw some tons and tons of mule deer, including one really nice buck. I'll throw the footage in here of him so you can check him out. But uh, anyway, it's about four o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go grab some grub real quick and then uh, we'll head out and see if we can get them on some cow elk. All right, so I am actually back home now, um, but and I didn't have time to do any updates because it was just absolutely crazy. So here's what's happened, what you're gonna see in the rest of the video. We saw zero elk. And to do a fill the table to teach people how to butcher process and cook wild game, you have to have wild game. Fortunately, the um, our outfitter, the landowners, knew another rancher that raised bison. And he had an old cow that didn't produce anymore that he was willing to sell to us. So we bought a, a cow bison. Uh, we went out to his property. We put it down. And then we brought it back. And what you're going to see next is that we skinned it. We taught the uh, students how to butcher it. And then we did some processing and we cooked it and made some amazing meals. So I'm back home in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The event was still a huge success. We had to um, call an audible and we'd kind of roll with the punches. This thing could have been a disaster. But fortunately, we put our heads together and created a fantastic event. Everybody still went home with probably, man, I don't know, probably 60, 70 pounds each of uh, bison. So everybody was super happy. Um, just a little bit more about what I do. Had a great time doing it. Turned something that could have been a negative into a positive, And I bet we get more customers out of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. And we'll take this. And I'm, again, I'm just going to cut this piece right here. You can see that seam back there all the way in and if you put your if you put your hand in there it's still warm it's still real warm so then i'm gonna need somebody 